I'm just here to get the daily done and uh, maybe one other thing. And then I've got live live that I want to check out. Maybe if I feel like a, a bit of warrior, but we'll see. We'll play it by ear. Oh no. Okay, I gotta remember how to use this character. I mean, I guess that's the reality, I'm just gonna have to put up with it. <laughs> I think this character's conceptually cool, it's just a bit... eh. <laughs> hey Nick, how's it going? Okay, that's two health ups, but I need to secure the health. Oh, but that goes to- ooh, right, 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 there's no such thing. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, still. Hearts are secured. Safety is here. definitely been, let's say, a good year since I last played this character. I am surprised I haven't taken more damage than... Wait, I haven't even taken any damage yet, I don't think.
back, mas... Mas... I think the way to do this is just be a good... No devil, just angel. Mm, Alright, I'll buy it. What is it? Alright, no biggie. I got my keys back. Oh, right, but because they're not technically red health, I, I guess it's fine. Go back. This is going surprisingly well. I thought it was gonna be a bit more of a struggle. Oh, okay. Well. Be stingy, come on. Fork it over. Okay, there we go. I guess we're at max now. Dude, <laughs> bandage coming in clutch. What is that? It's just going off. It's the luck. It's the luck stat.
Uh, I don't even know what Rotten Hearts even do. Just, I think they do room damage when they go off or something like that. Anyway. Yeah, that seems fair. <laughs> like, I'm unable to reach them. I guess there's an alternative, it's just... It's a bit weird that those things can't be meleeed. check out the store now that I have this. Oh. Ah, oh, no, I lost health. Damn it. In the angel room this time. I should have swapped. I guess there's still a chance it could happen. This map seems massive, like I don't think I've run into the treasure room either.
was that? I'm not sure what that one does. I don't think I've gotten it before. Expected. Hey, virtual hugging. How's it going? Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah, that worked. Wait, where'd the heart go? <laughs> Bad, it's raining again, so you're sick. Yeah, it's just, uh, aside, I'm not sick, but it's just been raining here all day. Mm. Do that because it's less, less risky. How am I doing? I'm doing okay. Just mm. went about my day. Wait, it became bone. Oh, you dick. What the heck happened there? Alright, it doesn't matter. Um, I had a bit of a migraine in the afternoon, like it just suddenly hit me, so... I was like lying down for a while. I still kind of got remnants of it, but I'm, I'm alright. Sorry to hear that. Ah, it happens. Unfortunately, when it happens, there's just not a whole lot you can do. You kind of just have to... <laughs> yeah. Just power through it. Eventually, it'll, it'll stop. But yeah, I couldn't look at a computer screen. I could look at a TV, but like... If I felt like I was sitting up, it was just... Yeah, not great. Fuck, that heart just vanished. Or is it a case that this thing is, uh, like, the I that's what the item does, is, like, guarantee a heart, but then you have to get it quickly? I think that's what it is. Okay, yeah, now that I see it, I think that's what's happening. Which is interesting. Alright, now I know what that item does. Yeah, yesterday I had quite a bit of fun playing Warrior. I don't know if I'm gonna play it today though. We'll see how I'm feeling. Like, if I'm gonna play that game, I have to kinda... I have to put energy into it, but not in the, the way you would think. Luck. Damn. Luck up. 
nothing but positive. Oh, okay, so that's just straight up damage up. Uh, Soul of Maggie. I forget. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna look this up. After I got burnt by that one soul, <laughs> that killed me. What does it do? Give me a sec. That's the one. Okay. Surrounds Isaac with a bubbling red aura for the current room. All enemies drop half red hearts that disappear in two seconds. Yeah, that's kind of mediocre. <laughs> The problem with just using the item sometimes is, is just there are items that can screw you over pretty badly. Whoa. What the fuck is that? I've never seen this before. It's kind of neat. You got a personal game question within a game with item rarities. What do I think is the maximum amount of different rarities that said game should have to not cause an overload of items in an item pool? But I mean, I don't know how to answer that one. That's one of those things that I'd have to think about quite a bit, and I guess it kind of depends on the game itself and the genre. It's not, I don't think it's a black and white answer. I mean, when it comes to game design, it's one of those things that, like, it's not exactly an exact science. There are established norms, but I would not. Yeah, I guess I don't. I don't feel like I'm qualified enough to to give an opinion on it. 
without giving it a lot of thought. And sometimes the perspective on in terms of rarities that people have is just in the context of like they want rare stuff. But then the irony is like, well then it's not rare anymore. item where I can recover my health is pretty good. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> oh, it's a little ghost. Jeez. That scared me a little. Okay, one sec. I'm just having a drink of water. Ugh. Okay, so I've learned that this accessory is different now. It's like a weird hate seeking. Whoops. How does that even work with the bone? I don't think it does. The only thing I'm missing here is just tear ups. Swing rate is a bit low. Damn, six luck. so obnoxious. Now do this. I do not want to lose a heart. That was fortunate. Okay, so that's how that works. Mm. 
That's a pretty cool synergy. Hey, collect that. Oh, it's full. Okay. Never mind. Uh... I'm debating it. This item, I have mixed feelings about it. On the one hand, you can get a minion, but on the other hand, it cycles them, and one of them sends explosive flies, and I'm just, yeah, I think I'm gonna say no. I've had too many things go wrong with that explosive fly minion. Sorry I don't have more to contribute to that conversation, but... Yeah, I mean, aforementioned migraine earlier, like... I would love to think further on it, but at the moment, it's not, not within my uh, realm of things I can do. It's like I'm focusing on the game and... I, and what might pop up in chat, and that's it. It's like, that's all I have in me. How dare you have constructive conversation. <laughs> I guess there's no point to this because it's, yeah. It's not like we get an item out of it. back for the heart. Oh, you dick. Okay, so let me get this straight. If I do this, it's gonna be double ghost. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Oh. Oh, damn. These bombs, they, they mean business.
Chasing me, all right, that's a little bit of a liability. All right, cool, success. Oh. Hold on. I unlock something. Uh, the broken modem Isaac. Which one did I unlock? Give me a sec. It says complete- oh, so this is just the one where you complete seven. Okay. It's not any of the streak ones, I was gonna say. That's fair. Okay. Ugh. Give me a sec, I'm just stretching. I didn't want to spend too much time on Isaac today, so I'll probably just do one run, and then we'll move on. Uh, who do I want to play as? I guess you don't have many marks. Alright, let's go. Damn, I wish I could grab that. Come on, don't be a dick. <laughs> hey, Gammy, how's it going? Jeez. Everyone loves the warrior voice. Did you end up, uh, using the warrior? Or saving the warrior for a special occasion? Wow. 
Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay, I hate this boss. That's <laughs> just... Getting this thing at the start is... It's not fun. This is the spider variant. So I might die because it does like a, a spread attack. Okay, I got lucky. You'll do it one day and try to record yourself doing the voice. Ah, uh, dear. Hope you do. I got bombs, so hang on. We can do stuff now. You're not sure when maybe in McDonald's is that would be fitting. Wait, Warrior in McDonald's? Just take your order as Warrior. Today? What's this? What am I getting? Let's see. Um, I'll have a, a Big Mac. Oh, yes. Have you got the, uh, the McFlurry? You know, that's new one. You do? Yes! <laughs> What's the new McFlurry? I think it's a creme brulee one. Oh, yes, Wario loves creme brulee. Loves the creme. It's new in Australia. I think that's the one. Like, I'm pretty sure that's the new one. They're trying to get all fancy. Because, uh, like, bubble tea places or, I don't know, milk tea places, they, they started doing creme brulee teas, so it's, like, a popular thing here at the moment. I've had one, they're, they're pretty decent. You know, I'm thinking about it now, something that never occurred to me. <laughs> something that occurred to me now, it's like, why the fuck have I never gone as Wario for a Halloween party, ever? Like, it, it's kind of dawned on me. Anytime I've had to go to a Halloween party, it's been, I've just been lazy. Because I've got like a... A traditional poncho and like mariachi hat so I'll just be like yep just dressed up in, in like South American Central American Mexican whatever you want to call it like that's that's my go-to low effort should just go as warrior one year I think next time it happens I'll do it Uh, if, if you like the, the, the voice that I did, like, go watch yesterday's stream where I was playing Warrior Land. Oh no, 
I think since like the age of 17, 18, every time Mario Party is uh, something we play at a party, that's... The warrior comes out. I'm gonna go the normal path, I don't feel like doing the alternate path. I feel like I'm not... I'm not in a state where I can react to a bullet hell type scenario. The one warrior game I will have to try track down one day is the GameCube one, because that's I think that's the only one that I haven't tried, maybe. Slash don't own. I'd have to look at like what games are in the series, but I had the two Game Boy ones as a kid. And then I've pretty much played all the Warrior Wars at some point. Not to say anything bad about the GameCube, because there's a lot of good games on that, but I didn't really know many people that had one. In an ideal world, like, Nintendo would let you play these games still, to some extent. Please don't fuck me. Okay, cool. <laughs> I always worry if it's gonna be like a cursed style or something. I should let you carry me through the cycle. What's the cycle? I haven't heard of it. The magician. Ah, may as well use it now. What did I get in the box of stuff? 
Okay. Uh, gee, it's a mystery. <laughs> okay. Like, I didn't, I didn't know, look, that's funny. The, the flavor text is, it's a mystery. I didn't mean it in that way. It is amusing, however, that that's what ended up happening. The Cycle Frontier, it's a high-risk shooter like Tarkov. Ah, okay. Yeah, I mean... Two things. One... Literal box of games at my feet that I need to try and get through. And this is without me going to a garage sale and picking up a warrior game for memes, right? And two, shooters, I'm really, 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 like... I wouldn't say over them, but I guess it, they don't entertain me as much as they used to. Like a traditional FPS, I'm saying. The only one that I've played on stream to, like, some extent was Overwatch, and even then it was, like, very short-lived slash... Uh, like, it was only when people were playing. It's free? Yeah, but so is Fortnite, and you didn't see me go playing that. <laughs> Wait, I said warrior. Yeah, I got the, uh... Shake Dimension, or Shake It, depending on where you're from. It had a different title, if you're in Europe. Oh, crap. Didn't have good movement speed. Hmm. And I kind of looked at the other monitor for a sec. That's why, yeah, there was like a, a Wario voice earlier. <laughs> it's just in reference to that. But Fortnite is garbage. I don't know, like... I don't think a garbage game would have that many people playing it. And it's got nothing to do with the fact that it's free. Like, there's plenty of other free games that have never been as large in scope or popular as it. Now, you could say you don't enjoy it, which I can understand that, but... I mean, there's a reason a lot of people play it. And it's as popular as it is. Like, take Team Fortress 2, right? That went free to play, and it did not reach the numbers that Fortnite has. I can definitely say game's not for me, but like, I, I will definitely recognize, like, a successful game. This is a dangerous combination.
I don't like this effect because, yeah, it explodes in your face. So you, you have to keep your distance. And on a character that only has one health, this has the potential to ruin everything. I know people that only play shooters, like Call of Duty and sports games, and they would call, like, stuff Nintendo produces garbage. That's just for kids. So, I don't know. Take the gamble or not to take the gamble, that is the question. Screw it. Okay. I'm happy with that. If I can get Guppy, that'll be really useful. Or anything that shoots bugs. What you meant by garbage is the stigma and the community surrounding it. Much like how high risk shooters are becoming. Mm, I, can, I can see that. I mean, there's certain games that that sort of thing happens. Like MOBAs are another genre where whilst they are successful in the sense of a player base, but man, people get toxic and salty. <laughs> I feel like the two words that are, that are kind of overused in terms of describing the state of something is like garbage and cringe. This has become a thing, like everyone just, that's what they default to when they describe that they dislike something. That's what I was talking about. I just got lucky that it didn't hit me. Should have pinpointed more what you actually meant. No, it's fine.
I guess I'm, I'm like a type of person that will try to articulate why I might have a certain opinion on something. Because there's so many times where I've had conversations with people about, like, they'll be like, oh, this game's garbage, or this is cringe. I'm like, okay, why? What do you mean? Like, what don't you like about it? And then they just have this really hard time articulating it. Like, I have younger cousins, and they're, they're in that generation, right? They, they watch YouTubers. I'm not saying watching YouTubers is bad. When I say YouTubers, I mean, like, modern YouTubers, right? Kids that have grown up on YouTube, basically. And they started using words like cringe and garbage. And, you know, I tried asking one, well, what do you mean? Like, you... What do you mean that you think it's garbage? Like, what part don't you like? It's like, oh, it's just trash. It's like, that doesn't- that doesn't elaborate anything. <laughs> like... I didn't use those words, right? Like, I, I'm talking to someone that's, like, not even a teenager yet. But I'm like, try- try and tell me, like, what- what don't you like? I'm trying to get them to express themselves. And tell me, like, what they don't like, as opposed to just going, Oh, that's so cringe, bro! Fucking garbage! Why don't you like it? I don't know, it's just cringe, you know? Like, imagine speaking that way. <laughs> in, in... Having a conversation with someone and just using those words. I mean, I'm not asking for a retrospective on, like, on Fortnite here, in terms of your opinion. Right, like, it's fine to say that you believe something's garbage, I guess it's just, for me... It's something that I will always try to get more out of, like, what you mean. Don't take that out of context. I I'm used to people taking stuff I say out of context sometimes. Such as the Twitch formula where like you might do something or say something and then the clip will, will just isolate the part where you're just saying something absurd. Like maybe in the voice of a, a cartoon character or a video game character. <sighs> yeah. Unfortunately, I was, there was no way I, I could have known that that item was behind all that. I just have to deal with it. Like, every now and then, it's going to screw me over. That's fine. Uh, let's see if there's a soul heart. There isn't. There's just a quick charge, which would be useful. 
on Bible. But, uh, see, the problem I have with Bible is it doesn't really help you later. Like, I get it, it gives you the one shot, but... Once you're done with that, it, its usefulness is uh, not as good as this. I will say though, like, the one thing that Fortnite's doing that I'm kind of like, hmm. I, I want it to happen less. There's, I guess, the amalgamation of, like, media in a sense of... You're having all these characters that don't necessarily belong being added to the game. And for the sake of, you know, ma it's a marketing machine at the end of the day. But there's other games that are doing that as well. It's just, it's becoming more and more of a thing. Like that new Smash Brothers clone. Oh, damn it. What's it called? I forget the name of it, but it's got a bunch, it's got a bunch of random characters and like Arya Stark is in there from Game of Thrones because they have the license for it. Okay, so you have the license, therefore you're adding the character, but I'm not really thinking about if it makes sense to put it in a game like this. I think we'll know that we've uh, entered this kind of dystopian, let's just use anything that we license no matter what type future. If we see Walter White in either Fortnite or, uh, or that, uh, Battle Royale game, you know, the Smash Brothers clone. Just because, it's like they own the license, gotta do something with it. They're like Tony Soprano. For the Smash Brothers clone. That is Libra. I feel like, yeah, the problem is like. Hmm. That's only really useful if I have one stat that's higher than the others, but they're all kind of equal. If anything, that'll be a damage down. It's a good item to get if you don't have much damage, but I think I'm, I'm okay. And it'll sort of reduce the effectiveness of the, uh, the book. Get it.
<sighs> Some of these animations are great. Oh yeah, you know, I never figured what to do here. to boil it down what I what I didn't bother with Fortnite is simply I thought that the building aspect was dumb. I get that it, it it's 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 unique thing, but I just I thought it was dumb. This is like it's so awkward to It's so awkward to give it money. Like I'll probably end up losing health. They took out building for a while, then all the speed building kids started dying more, who would have guessed? Yeah, but I mean... That's just because I got good at it, right? Like, it's... I don't know. I guess the other thing is, like, because these days, generally speaking, I'm playing games that I stream. There's very few games that I I don't stream. There's, there's a small collection of them, but in general, I'll be playing something and streaming. Just, I guess, I've kind of actively avoided games where, like, the audience tends to be a lot younger. Uh, it's not because I'm saying fuck kids, right? Like, who, who wants to deal with that? It's more just the case of... Look, you see the kind of stuff we talk about here sometimes. <laughs> I don't... I don't want to be... Responsible, I guess, for like, saying something that... I don't know. I'm not gonna say ruins a kid, but certainly like, in a way that the internet ruined me, I guess. Like, that's gonna happen on its own, but I don't want to be the one that does it, so to speak. <laughs> I want to be able to make... <laughs> make my ridiculous warrior voice and not have to think, hmm, maybe there's an eight-year-old watching.
very useful. You're pretty sure building is back now. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm not... I'm not one for, uh... <laughs> looking into the... The updates that that game has. Because, yeah, I, I have zero interest in it. Um, what am I doing? I guess E, though. Alright, let's just get the negative out of the way. That's usually what I do. Don't know what I said for the past few minutes. That's fine. I'm not gonna repeat it, but the TLDR is just... Fortnite wasn't for me. From a gameplay and like... Because I stream generally avoid games that have like a, a much younger audience. That's pretty much it. I didn't go on that, did I? But I can. Good. I said I have a bunch of games to play as one of those Diablo 2. I played Diablo 2 already. That was- I did a off-stream recording of it. But it's on YouTube, I was kind of experimenting and saying, hmm. If I play, like, the games that I play off-stream, if I was to just record them and just be casual about them. Would people watch them on YouTube? I mean, I got a little, little bit of views, but I haven't really tried it again. But yeah, Diablo is one of those games that I pick up every now and then. Like, I'll, I'll go through periods where I'll play it off stream quite a bit. Like, if I'm, if I want to unwind my evening I'll I'll play it for a while listen to some music I was actually streaming it a bit in discord for a while but yeah I, I haven't played in a few months now I played it and I got my uh, Amazonian character to a point where, like, uh, she has BIS gear. It's not completely done. There's a couple of things that I could improve, but, I mean, the essence of it is there. It's like I have what is considered top tier gear. The problem with, with, uh, like, Diablo, in terms of streaming, is it's, it's not that I don't get people watching, I do, it's just, it kind of polarizes the viewer base a little. 
And I don't mean that as, like, controversial or anything, it's just... Basically, there's a Venn diagram, it's like, people that are into games like Diablo, and then people that like everything else. And they don't overlap. It's kind of like, if I stream Diablo, there'll be people that only turn up for Diablo, and then the people that turned up for, like... Pretty much every other time, like, when I'm playing whatever I want... They're like, yeah, Diablo is just not for me. So, you know, with what I want to do with the channel here on Twitch, I, I want it to be... I don't want it to be a thing where I'm, like, burning out on one game, basically. Like, I've always been switching games constantly. And yeah, Diablo is one of those games that has a very loyal viewer base, which is great. But if you want to do anything different, then... yeah. <laughs> People don't turn up again. go do harsh if I want. It's probably not a bad idea. What is in here? Nah. Um, we were going down anyway, so... Well, let's try. Never know. Could... Kinda like Dead by Daylight loyal viewers, but they want to see Dead by Daylight content. Yeah! I think with Diablo, it's more- it's not just about the game, either. It's more a case of, like, they'll only be into that genre, so it has to be a genre where it's, like, involves loot systems, basically. Hmm, okay, let me think about it. Yeah, I'll just take money as power. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, it's just, I guess, for what I want out of Twitch, it's, I don't want to be playing a single game, pretty much. Like, for me, this has always been about me kicking back, playing something, and it's, it's less about what I'm playing and more about just, I guess, the people that are here and... Just general conversation, as opposed to like, oh yeah, we're only going to talk about the game and nothing else. going alright so far. That's not to say that I'll never play those games on stream. Like, maybe Diablo 4 might be a thing, but I don't think it'll be like a permanent thing. It depends. I worry about that game. Like, I'm hoping it's gonna be fine. But somewhere inside of me, like, I, I feel like they're going to try something. I mean, if you look at it right, they always do with their latest games. That's the thing. So I'm just, I'm waiting. 
it's gonna be one of those things where I probably won't get it on release and just be like, alright, what did they try this time? And I, I, when I say that, I mean monetization. Ooh, this is not going well. I need to get rid of this. This is trying to snipe me. Oh my god. That's kind of unfair. <laughs> it's forcing me to run through the shit. Thank you. I might actually lose here. Oh my god, that is so lucky. This clown item straight up just saved me. <laughs> like, I, would, I definitely would have died if it wasn't for the clown item. Okay, cool. A bit unfortunate in terms of how much damage I took, but it is what it is. Let's just collect the stuff for more damage. Here's the, here's the problem with, with modern companies in terms of larger ones, is like... The people in charge aren't in the spirit of... I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I think to some extent some of them care about making a good game. But ultimately, these days, it's like doing something to appease the shareholders. And that's... that's the name of the game, like... That's pretty much priority number one. You know, saying that, yeah, all they need to do is just look at older games. It's like, they're not going to look at older games. Because older games didn't make them the same amount of money that modern games are making them. As cynical as that might sound, that's, that's the reality of it. You get that older games didn't make them as much money, but there also weren't as many people playing them. No, but you could, there's like, uh, you can definitely calculate, like, how much money they made off one player, right? Like, regardless of how much games sold, you can calculate that. And the fact is, with the way they're doing these games, they make more per player on average. It doesn't matter how much the game sells, ultimately. And then there's, of course, the concept of the whale. Which is something that was never a thing in older games. I guess that's what I'm saying, is like, they're not gonna... They don't care. <laughs> they don't care. It's never in the name of, like, making the best experience with some companies. 
That's like a secondary thing. I mean, look at what happened to Cyberpunk, right? Like... It's not that Cyberpunk, from a conceptual point of view, was, uh... Was bad, right? And there's a lot there that definitely make it a good game. The problem was that... Again, appeasing shareholders... They need- they clearly needed more time. They didn't get it because... They spent a lot on marketing the game to appease shareholders. They predicted the game would sell X amount of copies by X date. And they weren't allowed to delay it. If it was truly in the interest of, like, making the best game possible, that wouldn't have been a problem. I gotta keep going. Hmm. Brimstone, that might be worth taking. I think it, it achieves a similar thing. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Oh my god. Ugh. I mean, I guess I, I would want as much red hearts as possible. the book or I'm gonna die. What is going on though? I have 15 damage. It shouldn't be like this. Now I have 16. This is looking a little sketchy.
Okay, well, I've got max money now, so... Uh, yeah, I have to use book here. I feel like this is more stingy than the other path in terms of items it gives. these self-inflicted explosions. Hmm. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm okay. Uh, trying to form like a mental map of this. just gonna go in in all honesty. I still gotta do Mega Satan. Oh, the regen happened. I was gonna say now it makes sense to get the Brimstone item if I'm not gonna heal. I'm still leaning towards getting it just because it's full range attack. It's piercing, so... Alright, do it. These look different. I can't say I've seen the variations pop up that often in here.
that was an accident. <laughs> Damn it. I mean, it's fine. I don't, I don't want to have that go off. But I think the explosion killed it. It's nice, because it's, it's a full heal. This is... <laughs> this is a little clench. much time left. Oh shit. <laughs> there we go. Ugh, felt like that never was gonna end. Okay, I didn't get to continue, but I did win. I mean, decent, like... How many marks up that was that? It was like... Three? Yeah, I mean, not bad. Okay, we're leaving Isaac... For now. Let me stretch my legs for a bit. I'm gonna get a drink of water. I've just been trying to stay hydrated. I, I am feeling a bit better. Um, so, I guess I'll do some Wario. I was just like... Thinking, if I don't have the energy, I won't play Wario. But I will, so... Just give me five minutes, because I need to set up the Wii. Okay. We'll have uh, more Isaac tomorrow at some point. <sighs> Doing the daily stuff.